allowing us to come together another Saturday to call it our worship service for Sunday to break for those that were present here. And we are thankful to God for His blessings. Realize that since the last time we met in this place that so many things have happened and but through it all the Lord has been good and the Lord has blessed us and protected us and we are grateful. Nobody but the Lord
those that are weak, we preach strength to their bodies. Those that are going through different procedures, medical procedures, we pray that you would go with them for God and strengthen their bodies each day. We pray, oh God, for those that are traveling, we pray for the ill more family as faith returns back to school in Ohio, that you would give them your traveling grace and keep them safe. Keep her safe there on the we know that you're able, you're God, and all power is in your hand. There's nothing impossible with you. We pray, O oh God, for this community of faith that you would bless us and keep us, O oh God. Encourage us and give us a mind to hold on. For you said that we can be able for a night with joy coming in the morning. And that's when we realize that we are in a period of much weeping. But we have hope that joy will come. And so we wait on you, we trust in you, we live and we depend upon you. Bless those on our prayer list, O God, and strengthen their bodies. We thank you for all things. We pray for all those that are affected COVID-19, God, to bring healing and strength God, to their bodies. We pray for great families, O God, all across this metro area and throughout Wipe the tears from your eyes and give them strength and pray about presidents, senators, congress, and governors, and mayors, and all of those are the positions of leadership that you would give them wisdom to lead and guide your people in a godly manner. We pray for churches everywhere, and pastors, and God, that you would give them the wisdom and knowledge of how to go about opening up those churches, so God. We pray that you would keep those who are open. God bless you at this time again. We are grateful. And we're going to have our singers. We are living on in their coming. So we're just going to turn to the hands of our position.
blessing us over and over again. And we owe him our praise and our thanks again. Amen. The Lord's been good to us. Amen. In spite of what's going on around us, amen, the Lord is just blessing us over and over again. Yeah, he said thank you. Thank you for how he blessed our families. Amen. Thank you for how he blessed our friends. And we thank you for the strength that he has given us. Amen. To navigate through these tough times. Amen. So certainly we want to thank the singers for that selection. Thank you, Lord. Everybody. Yes. Regardless to what you are dealing with now, we all have so much to be thankful for. Yes. You know, oftentimes I think about that. If you think you're having it bad, and you just, uh, of course you can't do so much but now visiting the hospitals and nursing homes. But there are people that are in worse shape, amen, certainly in worse shape than we are. Amen. amen. People stop me as I was doing yard work a few days ago. They were looking for a young man, a member of this community who was missing. And I guess uh, two cars of people stopped by and asked me about this individual. But thanks be to God, we saw on Facebook where they did um, find him. Amen. 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 And so if we got uh, the clothes in our right minds, uh, we have so much to be thankful for. Amen. 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 We have family and friends that care about us and people to see after us. We have so much to be uh, thankful not just the big things, but you know, everything God does for us is, is big. Amen. Amen. Even the little things. Amen. Amen. It's really big things, and so we are grateful. Let us hear from our singers again. Amen. God bless you.
but he knows where I am going. And when he tests me, I will come forth as pure gold. Amen. 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 300 times in the Bible, God declares, not man, but 300 times, God declares, I am God. All right. Amen. Amen. One thing for man to say, he's God. Yeah. But 300 times God himself says, right. I am God. Mm -hmm. Beginning in Genesis, the 15th the chapter, and Revelation, the 22nd chapter, all the way through the Bible 300 times. God says, I am God. Job, after 37 chapters, finally hears from God. No, he does not see a physical appearance of God. For no man can see the face of God and leave. Find that in Exodus 23, 23 and 20. But you may not look directly at my face. It was God's words to Moses. For no one can may see me and leave. Amen. So God's speaks to Job out of a world wind. Are y'all following? Amen. Amen. When you get to chapter 38, then the Lord answered Job yeah. from the world wind. Amen. God asks the question in verse 2. Who is this that questions my wisdom with such arrogant words? Brace yourself like a man. Now to those who feel that, we talked about that earlier, that you want to talk to God, you want to Get something off your chest, off of your mind. Uh, you better go back and read the book of Job. Right. Amen. God says to Job, brace yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You've been looking for me. You've been searching for me. Well, here I am. Right. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Right. Speaking through a whirlwind. He said, brace yourself like a man. Right. And that word brace is a, a military a term. Amen. Stand at attention. Yeah. Yeah. Brace yourself like a man. Now this is God talking. Because I have some questions for you. And you must Answer me. All right. Job, searching for God, had questions for God, couldn't find God in 37 chapters. Mm -hmm. And now in chapter 38, yeah. God shows up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Says, Job, listen, yeah. God hears us. All right. So we need to be careful what we say. Hell, I got it. He says, Job, I have some questions for you. And you must ask. Hell, I got it. Using a series of pointed questions, the effort that God challenges Job to ask. 
Now that third verse, he said, and you must ask God, amen, will ask Job 77 questions. Amen. He'll ask Job. Now you know that's some kind of test. 77 questions. God will ask Job. And he says, you must ask. Now look, you, you know when we come to church, uh, you know, we have to come, we have to bring our thinking caps to church. Right. <laughs> Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, the questions is broken down into three categories. Right. And you'll see them in the Bible. The first question deals with cosmology. All right? All right? Cosmology. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you look it up in the dictionary, it says, the science of the origin of the universe. All right. How the universe was made again. Yes, the first series of questions deals with cosmology. All right. Amen. 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 Listen. Number one. Well, y'all got, got your Bibles Amen. Mm -hmm. Verse what, four. four. Mm -hmm. Why were you? Yeah. Let me just put that. Job, mm -hmm. when I laid the foundation of the earth, right. where were you? Job. <laughs> Tell me Amen. Where were you when I let me say like the old uh, preacher from by God, you should say, where were you when I stood on nothing? For there was nothing for me to stand on. When I looked all around and saw nothing, for there was nothing for me to see. And I decided that I would build or create the world. Where were you? Job, yeah, yeah. when I laid the foundation of the earth. Listen, that first one. Tell me if you know so much. Right. If you're so smart, Job. Yeah, yeah. Hell, yeah, really. Amen. Tell me. Amen. Where were you? Amen. When I laid the foundation of the earth. Listen, we're not going to tear it on with this. Listen, Job, who decides its dimension? Yeah, yeah. Amen. Where were you when I decided how big yeah. the earth would be? And Job, what supports its foundation? What do you mean, Lord? No. In other words, say, Job, what is the earth setting on? Hell, I got to right. See, this, this sanctuary is sitting on a foundation. Right. And, right. and God says to Job, Job, what is the earth sitting on? All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Where were you, Job? Huh. When the morning stars yeah. sang together mm -hmm. and all the angels yeah. shouted for Job. Job, yeah. were you in that choir? Yeah. Hell, I got a witness. Mm -hmm. When the morning stars sang together mm -hmm. and all the angels shouted for Job. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I can go on, but you read the rest. Right. The first series of questions on cosmology. Yeah. And then he moves to a second series. Mm -hmm. Amen. Of course. On ocean, ocean breath. Yeah. The branch, which is the branch of science mm -hmm. that deals with the physical and biological properties of the sea. All right. Amen. And it's in the Bible. Yeah. God asked 
Job, who set the boundaries of the sea? Because right. I got a witness. Amen. Said, who sets the boundaries of the sea? Right. Who says, this is far? Mm -hmm. and, and no further can you come. Huh. Now, Job, can you tell me where the springs from which the sea comes? Mm -hmm. Do you know how deep mm -hmm. the sea is? Right. Hell yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, Job answered mm -hmm. these questions. Hell yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. If you can. Okay. Well, thank God for Jesus. Brothers and sisters, we need to be careful. Hell yeah, it is. In our challenge of God. Amen. Amen. I know there's a whole lot going on in the world, but we need to remember that God is yet in control. Hell yeah, it is. I said God is yet in control. Yes. Amen. And we need to be mindful when we question his uh, justice. Amen. And his justice. Right. He moves on to the third series of questions. Uh -huh. Deals with meteorology. The branch of science concerned with the study of the atmosphere, right. especially as a means of forecasting mm -hmm. the weather. Yeah, yeah. Have a got with Look, my brothers and sisters, somebody might say, well, you're trying to be too heavy. No, it's not heavy. It's in the Bible. Amen. 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 You just read uh, the Bible. Read that 38th uh, chapter. He says to Job, amen, in this series of questions, Job, have you visited the storehouse of the snow? Hell, <laughs> have In other words, Job, do you know where the snow is kept? Hell, <laughs> have a witness. <laughs> or have you seen the storehouse of Hail, H A I A. Right. Do you know where I store the snow? Yeah. <laughs> and do you know where I store the heat? Right. <laughs> Who created a channel for the torrents of rain? Yeah. <laughs> Who laid out the path for lightning? Mm -hmm. <laughs> In verse 26. Yeah. Who makes the rain fall <laughs> on barren land right. and a desert where no one lives? <laughs> and who sends rain yeah. to satisfy the parched ground yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and makes the tender grass <laughs> to grow up? Right. Now, God himself declares uh, that I am God. Yeah. Uh, how many of you believe uh, and know that He is God? Yeah. Uh, the Father said, uh, It is He that made us uh, yeah. Yeah. and not we ourselves. Uh, we are His people, uh, yeah. the sheep of His pastors. Yeah. Uh, come before Him uh, with thanksgiving uh, into his courts with praise uh, and be thankful uh, and bless his name uh, for he is God. Uh, hell got a witness. Uh, in Job 40 uh, verse 1 through 5 uh, thank God for Jesus. Uh, then the Lord uh, said to Job now, do you still want to argue yeah. uh, with the Almighty? Yeah. 
Do you still have words for me? Do you want to question my justice and judgment? You are God's critic, but you do not have the answers. In verse number three, then Job replied to the Lord, Listen, I am a nothing. And how could I ever find the answer? And let us take a cue from Job. Job said, I will cover my mouth with my hands. Be God. Amen. 
He knows what he's doing. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And when his purpose has been accomplished, when his will has been fulfilled, right. have I got a witness? God will move yes, this virus yes, and all the other things that he played our work. So much is going on in the world that we don't understand. Seems like every day is something new. Amen. The old saints used to sing a song. Time is winding up. Destruction is in the land. God is going to move his hand. Time is winding up. Tell the sinner, time is winding up. Destruction is in the way. Just a few days ago in what, Beirut? Amen. That great explosion that I don't know how the numbers were off, but the last time I heard some 200 people killed and thousands and thousands injured. Destruction is in the way. Right. God is moving his hand. And time is winding up. So there's so much going on in the world that we don't understand. But there's one thing for sure that I have no doubt about. He is. Because I know he's God, I've come, amen, to, uh, well, let me just say conclusion, that I'm going to step yeah. out of the way. All right. amen. amen. Sometimes people come to preachers and pastors with all kinds of questions. And thank God that I found out a long time ago, you don't have to have all the answers. Amen. 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 So I'm going to step out of the way. And let God be yeah. God. Amen. He is God. Mm -hmm. So just trust Him. Yes. Yes. Lean on Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And remember, it's not ours to question His justice. Amen. Amen. As we close, clearly, as I said, there's 77 questions. Amen. We didn't deal with nearly half of the 77 questions God asked Job. Clearly the answer to all of these questions was no. Y'all remember how we used to do it in school? Well, some of y'all were smarter than uh, others. <laughs> but, man, they give us a true and false question. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Don't be no check. But false or true, man, we just call just. Yes, Amen. Well, John could have aced this text. All right. Because of every question God asked him, the answer would have been no. All right. I don't know where you keep the snow. Amen. I don't know the storehouse where you keep the hail. I don't know the, the springs of the ocean, the sea. I don't know how deep the sea is. I don't know how much the earth weighs. Have I got a witness? All of the questions, the answer is no. The God of creation rules the world. Yes, Amen. Amen. President, senators, congress, I almost called his name, but look. <laughs> Amen. I'll just say president. <laughs> Need to know that God rules yes, yes, yes. the world. And, and this thing just ain't going to poof, go away. Amen. Amen. God is in control. Yes. And he rules with the same wisdom and power, even in the unexplained suffering. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Can't explain suffering all across the but one thing we know, he is God. Yes, he is. And he rules 
even in the unexplained. There are some things I may not know. All right. There are some places I may never go. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But here's one thing that I do know. Yes, God's real. Yes, He is. How many of y'all know He's real? He's real? Yes. How do you know He's real? For I can feel Him yes. in my soul. Yes, yes. 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 God is real. Mm -hmm. Yes, God real. is real. Yes, he is. For I can feel Him yes. in so somebody said, how do you know he's real? You've never seen him. Well, I have an inner witness right. on the inside that lets me know yeah. that he's real. Now, God, his love is real. He loved us so much until yeah. he said his only begotten son, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. He gave his life on a cruel Roman cross that we might have a right to the tree of life. And if you are out there now listening to my voice, amen, and know not this Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, we invite you now to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Look, you don't have to be in church to receive Jesus as your Savior. Amen. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing right now, if you just stop and confess your sins to him, repent, amen, and ask him to save you, yeah. he will save you. No, you don't have to wait. Somebody say, well, I'm going to wait till the church opens back up. No, you, you, don't, you might not be able. You don't have no time to wait. If you're lost, he said, the day you hear my voice, yes. heart not your heart. Yes. Receive him now yes. while the blood is running warm yes. in your veins. Yes. Amen. He'll save you. Yes. I'm a witness. Yes. He'll save you. Not from some of your sin, yes. but from all of your sin. He'll wipe your sins away yes. and start you on a new and clean slate. Yes. Then I love what Amen. Psalm says that He'll cast our sins yes. far from us, as far as the east is from the west. Yes. So far He removed our sin from us, and then He will remember them. No more. Now that's something to shout about. For every time we we run into some people that we, well, I said used to, that we used to run with. Uh -huh. Amen. People who knew our past and the things that we used to do. Amen. And oh, how quick they are to remind us. You might be wearing that collar now. You might have that Bible under your arm now. But I remember you. Have I got a week? When we hung out in the club. I remember when we spoke the same kind of cigarettes. Amen. And look, you can look at them and say, you know what? You're not lying. You tell the truth. But it's another truth that I'm going to lay on you. I'm not the same man that you used to know. I'm a new man in Christ Jesus. And whereas you remember all of that, God says, I will remember your sins no more. How many of y'all glad about it? Hallelujah. I'm glad about it. Listen, I've done some things that I'm not proud of. I've done some things that I hope never gets out. Hell yeah, yeah. Hell yeah yes. Lord have mercy. Yes. But thanks be to God. Yes. He takes yes. my sins away. Christ took me.
cap for the penalty. Amen. Laying in the grave in three days and early in the Thursday morning, God raised him up. All power was in his hands. And I trust him today. And if you trust him, he'll save you. And look, when he saves you, you think you'll have the time now. When he comes into your life, it'll be the greatest joy you've ever known. To have Christ living on the inside. God bless you. God keep you. Let us receive the benediction. And now in the grace of God and the sweet union of his Holy Spirit. Rest of your life with us since fourth time forever. Let every heart say, Amen. 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 Amen.